welcome PML fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you a postcom of this week's battle. Uh, week seven has been pretty hectic for me, and uh, I'm just glad I was able to record this battle when I did. And now I get to postcom for the first time this season. And I'm gonna tell you this, guys. This game is a fun game. Uh, the Las Vegas City Jangmo O's really came to play. I mean, look at that team. They got High Dragon, Chansey, Swampert, Charizard, Rotom, and Guard of War. And our side, we have the Gastrodon, Roserade, Incineroar, Surfetched for the first week this season, Lycanroc, and Grimmsnarl. So the game plan this game was to, you know, just hit fast and hard. And I was trying to sweep um, with the D-Max uh, Surfetch this week. So let's see if we we're able to do just that. With the lead being Swampert, I kind of wanted to lead Roserade, but I didn't want like a Hydreigon lead or, you know, something crazy that was going to obliterate me. So... I went ahead and went with Apollyon because uh, I kind of designed it specifically to counter um, Hydreigon with its set. And of course it didn't hurt to also be around if it needs to slow down that Charizard with the Thunder Wave and stuff. But we go ahead and switch into Tuxedo Mask and we get burned on the Scald. And it's not that big a deal because we are natural cure, but it's like, all right. We're in front of this thing. It's obviously going to switch. Do we want to like double out into something or do we just want to swing? And I went ahead and hit Sludge Wave knowing that something that was going to be able to take a Giga Drain pretty well was coming in. And then Chansey ended up being the one coming in. So we do get burned again, take that damage. And I didn't have anything to hit this thing with so i went ahead and switched i was thinking about lone wolf because i was like oh chancy setup fodder right but at the end of the day i went ahead and went great which i in hindsight i probably should have went lone wolf i would have put more offensive pressure earlier the uh, great was just a uh, pokemon um wasn't for what i sent it in to do it was more of a take a big hit, use its berry, and uh, take advantage of reversal and acrobatics from there. Because we did run the Salak berry this week. Um, didn't get to get it off here. So beta is in now. I went ahead and just clicked knockoff because, I mean, even if it switches, nothing wants to lose its item. But it decides to stay in, which is interesting because normally people want to keep their Evia Light on their Chansey. But I guess this was uh, his golden opportunity to Toxic us, which, you know, fair enough. We were clearly weren't going to switch in Rosary because what we would have done after that. So we're just like, all right, what do we do here? And I just was testing the waters and I click reversal because I'm like, all right. Let's see how much this does. I mean, I know we're at high health, so it wasn't going to do much, but that was nothing. And this thing doesn't even have its Eevee light. So I figured, okay, uh, maybe now that it soft boils, it switches, and maybe I can get position. So I figured, eh, let's fight and shut. He stays in, which surprises me, honestly. I guess he's just ready to let this thing go, or he was just going to toxic stall the hell out of us. But instead of our parting shots out, lowers its special attack and uh, regular attack. And I'm thinking, is it golden chick time? But it is not golden chick time. We went ahead and go to lone wolf, and I was like, we can just set up here. Set up is the name of the game, and we're here to play. We do take the seismic toss, though, which was less than ideal. But I knew this thing had nothing to hit us with at this point. I mean, if it toxic us, all right. But I was going to swing. But he actually switches out and goes to Zeta, which is the Rotom. And I was like, oh, okay, Rotom. Easy. I brought Crunch. Swords Dance. Let's do this. <clears throat> Even then, uh, Swords Dance 
uh, Excel Rock was going to do a big chunk. But he was Scarf will o -Wisp. Kind of a bummer. Because <laughs> we're at plus two now. And we're basically neutral. And this thing does have bolt. Because it lives it. It lives that crunch. But it does get the defense drop. And I'm like, alright, what do I do now? I'm burned. I might as well switch then. Uh, if this thing switches, at least at that point, I'm at kind of plus two or at least plus one. And I'll be doing some decent damage. You know, just to offset the burn. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, I figured I didn't want to take this thing out and uh, just sit in front of something else at burned health, you know, at neutral attack. So, we play it off here. I figured it was Scarf since it was faster. So, I'm like, do we take it out now? No. You know what? Let's go ahead and Swords Dance again. Fuck it. Let's get to plus six. We're burned. Technically, it's like plus three or four. And it is time. Lycanroc isn't masking this game anyway. So, let's just break. Let's just Swords Dance up and break everything. I'm sure he wasn't expecting the sword set either because normally we bring our weakness policy and max this thing. But that's not what I wanted to do. And I guess he didn't want to lose anything else to a hit. And of course, uh, this thing would m probably be able to live a plus two Excel Rock. You know, uh, according to our burn uh, stats would be. But uh, we just close combat because nothing wants to take that. And beta goes down. So big egg drops. He gets scrambled all over the floor with our fist and feet just attacking it. And now it's like, all right, who does he send in? And I figured Swampert because that's one of its tankier mons that could probably revenge kill us. Uh, I know he doesn't want to send in Charizard because we got the Excel Rock. He doesn't know that, but we got it. And sure enough, Swampert comes in, and I'm just like, eh, maybe he won't live, right? Wrong. He lives it. Uh, we drop our defense for a second time, and it didn't matter. Our health was low anyway. So Flip Turn takes us out. But, you know, Lycanroc did his job. He he broke the team. He got Sword Zances up. Uh, he raised the wolf. <laughs> a little bit with all them sword stances and uh he was he was he was enjoying his time on the field but now it's over and charizard comes in for free and i'm freaking out i'm like shit is this belly drum do i send in incineroar to you know chip away at it and i was like you know what i'm gonna send in grimmsnarl I'm at least going to T-wave this thing. So if it tries to get any uh, max air streams after the belly drum or something, we can at least slow it down a little bit. So we go ahead and click Thunder Wave. And we don't miss, thankfully. And now Charizard is flying in slow motion. But it goes for the flamethrower. It just goes for the hit. And a big hit it does. And it's life orb, so it's losing a little bit of its health at the same time. And I'm like, okay, so it's special. Uh, I brought Spirit Break just in case that was the case. Let's go ahead and get a hit off and lower your special attack stat. He goes for Flamethrower once again, and we live it just barely. Um, it was about the same roll as he got last time, so, you know, fair. Fair is fair on that. But we do get the special attack drop here, and now I know I'm going down, so I'm just like, a little bit more chip on this thing would be nice. So we go ahead and go for Sucker Punch. And honestly, looking back, maybe two Sucker Punches would have been enough to take this thing out. But, you know, it is what it is. We go down. Charizard goes down, uh, goes low to health with those life orb, and I'm like, it's golden chick time, baby. Completely forgetting there's a Rotom in the back that's Scarf. I'm just like, it's it's golden chick time. Yeah, if I don't know if places outside of Texas have it, but you can't miss the jingle, golden chick. Such good chicken, but it's way overpriced now, so I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway. 
we're gonna go ahead and dynamax here and we're gonna go for the max airstream because i'm like yeah i want to be faster i want to be faster here we are max speed max attack uh i think jolly uh but you know 60 base speed hanging out speed of scarf rotom but i'm like you know what let's go for it anyway We send a sideways hurricane into Charizard's face. That thing goes down. Hate to see it, Charizard, but you know, you, you on the enemy team and you on Omega. And yeah, no, nah, nah, we can't have you hanging around and flying in slow motion and all that jazz. So, of course, Zeta comes back out. I'm like, ah, I'm maxed. And you know, I could have, I could have, you know, just taking it like yeah whatever i wasted my max fine and i could have went to incineroar but i decided you know what i'm gonna stay and maybe i could outspeed maybe he's not fully speed invested eh, he was invested enough i guess because he outsped us we got burned so don't play with fire kids because you will get burned golden chick loses some life orb and you know, with our massive attack stat, I feel like, you know, maybe we'll still hit kind of hard. It just depends. So, what comes out here? And, of course, oh, Omega. This is Omega. And that is the God of Wa. And it copies our Scrappy, so we can't intimidate it now. <laughs> but we do go for the max Flutterby over the max, you know, Airstream or anything like that. Because I do want to lower its special attack stat. Just in case it dies to go crazy on it. And Max Flutterby goes off. He doesn't decide to max this turn. He does a third. And that's burned. So, you know. I mean, it is max, but that's burned. Neutral hit. And that still did a chunk. But Calm Mind comes off. And it's going to get its special attack back to neutral. Which is huge for him. And the bigger thing is that special defense goes up by one stage. So it's like, all right, do I just lose here? Like, I can't chip this thing away. Um, that was my last turn. G-Max, I can't, uh, I can't do anything. If he decides to uh, calm mind again, I'm kind of screwed. So I'm just like, I need to get, I need to get as much damage off as humanly possible. So we wait for him to make his decision on what he wants to do here. And we're over here thinking about what we want for dinner. You know, Golden Chick nickname. Kind of making us hungry. Oh, but he decides to Dynamax and now we're not hungry no more. Now we're scared. We're like, what are, what is he going to do? And of course, the beautiful Gardevoir goes ahead shows us what's up her dress and slongs us down <laughs> with this mighty hit after it gets uh chipped off by brave bird and all that damage doesn't matter to us because we're going down anyway and max starfall is what it decides to use on us so it's nice and fairy move there and now I'm like, all right, uh, we lost Surf Fetch. The Pokemon we wanted to sweep with. Uh, this battle is rough. I think I even said GG at this point because I was like, I think it's pretty much over at this point. There's not much I can do. There's Gardevoir. He still has Hydreigon in the back. And then, of course, Swampert's still a pain to deal with. And um, Tupac is not specially defensive. Uh, Great is not defensive at all. And... Tuxedo Mask is max speed, max attack with uh, AV. But this is the max Gardevoir we're talking about. And if it decides to psychic move us, we're pretty much done for. So I was like, yeah, GG. It's probably over. I was contemplating the Shadow Ball for like two seconds. So I was like, eh, super effective. But I was like, eh, super effective plus stab. Sludge Bomb goes off. Chips it down a good chunk as Max Starfall chips us down just a little. And I was like, oh, no psychic move. I didn't even notice. I was just like, until after the match that that wasn't a psychic move. I was just like, we took that. Oh, shit. And we decided to go for another Sludge Bomb, and we actually take it out. And I'm like, oh? 
So you mean we have a chance? So I'm just sitting here like, all right. I drag on clearly next. And we go down to a flamethrower. So do we switch? Do we not? I say fuck it. Let's go for the dazzling gleam. May uh, Draco Meteor maybe. I don't know if we live. Uh, I'm willing to take the chance. Flamethrower, we probably don't live, but I'm willing to I'm willing to bet he doesn't use flamethrower because we have uh, quite a few mons that counteract that. And he's actually slower. He didn't have max speed investment. Well, he did, but it was a modest nature. And Dazzling Gleam takes that thing down. And I'm like, did we just win this match? I don't like to count my chickens before they hatch. But here we go, Swampert. What do you got for us? Surprise Ice Shard out of nowhere? I don't think so. Giga Drain's going to take this win. And um, I got to admit, this was a very sweet, sweet victory. I'm sure next time we battle, he'll, pro he'll probably run that Psychic type move and Scarf Hydra. <laughs> and we won't be able to be in this position again. But hopefully we could prep a lot better for that next time. And um, yeah, that was a GG to Inconsistency. And we actually get our... Uh, position back in uh, first place so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time